Like, like he'll get on the mic and just go crazy. Coming fresh out that Pyrex plot. Black Air Force Twos and the White Sox. Yeah, he had to. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The first artist, like, when you was coming up that, that inspired you. Gangsta that, Earn. That Gangsta was, Earn. Uh, Wack 100 was talking recently about him doing this docuseries or whatever it was, this series on this on this cat from San Diego that was, like, the first artist in Dago to really, like, come from the streets and put in work for us on the um, seeing he was a brim, homie. He was like a superhero, bro, like damn near to us when we was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. he was really about that life, homie. This nigga was balling. Gang the gangsterous nigga and the balling this nigga. You know, that don't go hand to hand on mm -hmm. this. Don't. <laughs> no, this nigga's riding down the street, shirt off, perm, giving it up, ragtop tray, go to the house, park that, come back out the next minute, burgundy ragtop Top trade 10 minutes ago. Now he in a slope nose, burgundy Porsche, but gang banging though. And rapping, and he was popping. He had us turned in, in something unfortunately wow. happened to the homie. You know what I'm saying? Like like shit always does in this street life. What was the and what was the first first song that you put out that really Me? Yeah, it started to take a you know, a buzz or just everybody was talking about. You talking about outside or just the one that got me motivated? Like outside the hood, or the one that made you pop. The in one your that opinion. made you pop, and yeah, in your opinion. Well, it wasn't just a song; it was my album. I okay, it was the whole, whole album. album, the whole project. Yeah, the whole project. People call it a classic, lightweight. It's a trigger ratio station. I put it out in two thousand and two, officially wow. two thousand and two. And that thing went crazy. I charted on Billboard, like thirteen on Billboard. That's fire. Behind That's behind the East Siders, I think it was at the time. <laughs> and um, this was just me and the homies, and we didn't know shit. Getting to it, that's what we didn't know nothing, bro. Who, who else was who was hot then in L.A. when they said East Siders? They just was, the East Siders. East Siders was huge. It was. It had to be some more though. It, oh it no, that was. It, the, it was just. It was. It was that a was bunch. The, but that was the, the yeah. The, the, but hold the heat. on. Yeah, but hold on. But it was. It was not a lot of. At the time, yeah. West, come on, that's after Pac. That's after yeah. all. It had slowed yeah, that's way after down. Pop. The only niggas that really came at the time was like Exhibit, mm -hmm. and then Game, and then Kendrick for like ten years. You right? You right? Like that? You right? Gorilla Black came for a little yeah, while. Gorilla, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a, no, a little we while. A, we got some other niggas. Yeah, that, it was that we sprinkled inside. But I'm saying like who, that, who that, really that. made that stamp? Yeah. I mean, it was crazy because when Game came out, he was the only one for a, wow, for a long right. time. And he seemed like he was the only one too. He, he, had, the, even, he had he had the West. But he was kid and he was working too. Yes, yeah, he was. That nigga was working. Oh no, he, he like he'll get on the mic and just go crazy. Coming fresh out that Pyrex plot, black Air Force Twos and the White Sox. Yeah, he had to. Yeah, Kendrick. YG came after him. Did, hold on. Then the record mm -hmm. that woke woke shit up. Like, okay, damn, we got some. Maybe we got some. Some type of action. We wasn't hearing nothing on the radio and independent wise. Well, we actually had a hit record that was an independent record. You know what it was? See, because I was in the business of selling records at the time. So okay. I remember what the at record was. At what time? Like, wait, wait, wait. Let's give, just, give, me, just, give me the time frame. When it was fucked up, with mm -hmm. nothing popping, and one record was like, ooh, something's on the radio. We, we got some. From San Diego or LA? From West Coast. West LA. Coast period. Okay, yeah. okay, LA. okay. What record? Is and it, when I say it, you're going to be like, yep, watch. What record? Was it this? Is how we do No, 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 no. No, no, Before no. Before that? An independent record. All independent. That made it like, okay, maybe we can do this shit. Maybe we ain't got to be on goddamn Interscope to make a record pop. The first record that came out the slump after game and all that shit. Two of them booted? No. Yeah, that's right there, but no. Teach me how to Dougie. Baby, like smooth. What? Can you teach me how to Dougie? You know why? Cause all the girls love me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Teach me how to Dougie yeah, made. Teach me how to Dougie came. Teach me how to Dougie made us. R.P. Big Y. Made, yeah. made me think like, damn, okay, maybe we got action. We got a song on the radio mm -hmm. right now. You know, and Dallas, it was an indie record. I was, I was like in Dallas trying to figure out why y'all just took that song like that. But I know, but I was in Dallas. Good. That shit went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The homie too, yeah. though. I interviewed them and and, and hey, that's my were, nigga. You know the homie. Uh, Lil Will, Lil Will, my nigga. Lil Will was on my show, but I'm saying he was. Lil Will, hey, Lil, Lil Will, uh, uh, but he uh, endorsed the counter when it first happened. He did though. He did though. With the taser on the on the Lil Will had a bitch with a tape in my nigga. No, it went viral. For real? <laughs> yeah. well, I, you know Lil Will something else, but I, 
recently been talking to those guys. They got a hell of a story if you ever go back and watch right? this. Yeah, the ones who did that with him, Spain and all, Spain went to prison. Wow. And the guy that was. Dang, I didn't really know about it. Oh, yeah, them niggas went to the, prison. Remember the first Dougie song? My Dougie, my Dougie, my Dougie. She said she like my Dougie. I'm fresh, yep, my Dougie. Yeah, the my first Dougie. Dougie, the my Dougie, 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 my Dougie, yeah, yeah, my yeah, Dougie. Yeah, 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 dude that, that was dancing hard. with him was a dude doing the dance. My Dougie mm. it was Spain, right? And uh, Soldier Boy and them started messing with him and all kind of stuff, and they. And it, and that's how the song ended up. They they cleared the fact of the uh, teach me how to Dougie. Yeah, they wasn't really with it. They were locked up. They was like fuck it, but they couldn't do nothing because it wasn't. They, they show they, homage though. No, no, no. I ain't from Dallas, but I did sound boogie. Will was cool with that. Yeah. Lil Will was cool with it. But the other two dudes, I'm telling you, I interviewed them. Bad. Yeah, they wasn't with it. And then when I got locked up, it's like they took the Dallas way and these Cali niggas came and said, this Dougie. I was just about to say and that. Say like, like, how did you feel about that when you, because it was like you you let everybody down by getting locked up. Yeah, I ain't got because, I, 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 I'm being I apologize real because, for that. But I, you I see what I'm saying? Like because you, you, you was holding it at a standard. Yeah. I'm like, who are these niggas got the song now? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, no, I'm and saying you were locked up. You seen the niggas say, like, teach me how to dug Yeah. Like, teach me how to dug it. Everybody love me. Like, yeah, you know, ooh, that shit I ain't from Dallas, like, but I D town <laughs> boogie. You know what I'm saying? I first seen them, I'm like, you okay. like, damn. Yeah, I first seen them, I'm like, okay, they showing love. But then, then like, time went by. Y'all not ain't really acknowledge they didn't it. They didn't acknowledge it. You ain't say my name one time. No. You ain't come to the boogie cane and be like, bro, we finna do a boogie song, ripping for y'all. You ain't come holler at me about nothing. Then one of them die. Yeah, they, yeah, I heard about that. I'm trying to interview because I went to interview them. I was trying to, I wanted that story before you came home. But at, they wasn't out. They couldn't really, they, mm -hmm. was, they just had to go with the flow of things. It was crazy, but that song was dope and it was big. Both of those songs. Then that one was crazy. Booty. But look, then tooted booty. I, I, I thought she was going to say for San Diego. Oh. Rob Stone. Oh, come on. Rob Stone had the biggest record ever. That song was huge. What year was that, though? It's still big. That's, that record is. What year? That was about four I remember five that years song. ago. About five years ago. Come on, man. That's the biggest record San Diego ever seen, and that shit's still doing that. That shit was today. crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I remember. As soon as you when did that, came I, out, I, was like, I was like, oh, they got what? They got what? Shout out to the little homie Rob. Shout out to Rob. Rob. Like, and, and, that's, and, and when some take, take, you don't know what's going to take. Mm -mm. You don't know what's going to, it's like waving an arrow over a fire. Like, some take it, just go. Like, like, what's the fastest song you've seen? Man, that, I ain't going to lie. When I heard that in the club, that thing was going crazy. And the club went like wild It went fire. like crazy. No, I'm going to tell you the song I seen go. It was crazy how it blew up. Mike Jones. That, that Mike Jones oh, song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember on the radio in L.A. how they play that shit like 20 over times and in a over row. again. What was the song again? Uh, the Who is Mike, Mike Jones? No, yeah, no, yeah. no. A no, Tiffany no, 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 no. No, Mike Jones. What the one? That one, that one. Who is Mike Jones? Yeah, yeah. they played that shit on on K -Day, not K -Day, but um Power, Power like twenty times back to back in a row, like twenty times. You kept bringing it back. I was like, God, I'm damn. telling you right now, I can put that dude on my show. Do numbers. They love Mike Jones because of the way he's he doing the real estate, don't he? Yeah, but the way yeah. he marketed himself, I'm telling you. Oh, he was genius. If you go right now, he got a core fan base. You hear people, you know, he be getting into it, everybody, because they sampling his music right now without what, uh, getting it clear. Chopper. No, it's not just him. It's about three or four of them niggas because mm. I put it in. And they mad at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.